I'm Heather. I'm Nate. And, and this, this is Lacey. <laughs> We're, We're going, going to Dana, Dana Point. Point in California. First, we're going to stop at the Salt Creek Beach area. It's about two miles north of the downtown and marina area. Wow, this was a fabulous park with awesome views. It's pretty cool, huh, Lacey? She's got to see if anybody left any snacks for her around the picnic benches. We decided to explore down the stairs. And this is as far as we could go with the dogs. They're not allowed on the beach here. Lacey says, what? At least we can still admire these gorgeous views. We took the more scenic route back up to the park. If only I brought my ball, Lacey was ready to play some hoops. And we had to go check out the art that was just up the way here. This looks like the old surf wagon reimagined. That's a cool looking tree. Yeah, it seems like if you find the right branch, you could get a great view of the ocean. Well, it's time for us to get down to the harbor. Lacey, are you ready to go? You couldn't help admiring all the art as you went through the tunnel to get back to the parking lot. We left Salt Creek Beach and we headed down towards the harbor. And as we're headed to the harbor, we passed through the Lantern District Arch. It looked pretty cool, so we had to stop and take a closer look. The pillars took you through some of Dana Point's history. That was an interesting little stop. Now we're on to the harbor. And you've got to love the palm tree lined streets. We're staying at the Dana Point Marina Inn. We made a video about that. You can check it out next. Our hotel was right next to Mariner's Village, so we thought we'd wander over and start checking things out. Lacey was trying to sniff out the treat store. No, Lacey, we don't have time to shop now. Let's go find something to eat. As in something for us to eat, Lacey, you get fed later. Now this looks like my kind of store. I think this will be my new life motto. Seriously though, this lady had the most amazing chocolate. She homemade it all. Walter's holiday spirit got Lacey excited. He told her where all the Christmas decorations were. And it was just in time because they were starting to light up. Lacey was trying to figure out if you have to stand on this Santa surfboard to tell him what you want. We decided to get takeout from Harpoon Henry's. And while we were waiting for our food, we just wandered around taking in all the sights. And the lights. And the beautiful sunset. And as the sun set and it started to get dark, the lights started to twinkle more and more. It started to feel like everything was covered in lights. Christmas under the palms, it's a California tradition. Oh, they even had a Santa Claus here, it was so cute. Lacey asked Loki where the best place to watch the boat parade was. Oh, we grabbed our food and we finished watching the sunset while we ate our dinner. Oh, and we had fabulous views from the room for our dinner. The sunset really was incredible over the boats. And after dinner, we decided to check out the holiday lights before the parade started. Everyone was getting excited and ready for the 47th annual Dana Point Harbor Holiday Light Boat Parade. They even had live music at the harbor. <laughs> Now 
everybody loves Lacey. Wow, kudos to Dano Point. They did an amazing job with their holiday lights. They really know how to light up the night, and the boats took their cue too and started to lighten up themselves. Lacey made sure to take us for a walk so we could see all the lights. Everywhere you looked, there were holiday decorations. It was so cool. Oh yeah, what could be cooler than surfing Santas and snowmen? I couldn't get enough of this candy cane lane. Oh, the boats are starting to leave, so we headed back to the hotel to watch the parade. We did a whole video on that. You can watch it next. And after the boat parade, we decided to go back to the marina and finish checking out all those holiday lights. They were so good, we had to make a second pass. Oh, we all had fun playing with the Happy Harbor Day sign. Oh my gosh, these whales were so cool. They did such a great job with them. We tried to get Lacey to pose in this one's mouth, but she was worried she might get eaten. Do these trees have to be pointy because they're in Dana Point? It looked like never-ending fireworks in the sky. Lacey wasn't giving out Christmas kisses tonight. Even after passing under the Merry Kiss Me Arch. They just did such a great job. I love the twinkling snowflakes. Those surfboards look pretty small. I wonder if they're for the elves. Ready to surf into Christmas with this tree. Lacey and I both agree this was one of our favorite boats in the parade. The lights were pretty, but Lacey started getting hungry and she started threatening to eat the boats. It was so fun wandering around the harbor looking at all the different holiday lights. They were everywhere. Well, I think Dana Point definitely won for the holiday decorations. They did an awesome job. Yeah, they had great decorations everywhere and the candy cane lanes put it over the top. These two are comparing notes on the boat parade. Oh look, it's our turn under the Merry Kiss Me sign. Lacey saved her Christmas kiss for me. And then I got my Christmas kiss. I know, Lacey, we can move along. I'm having way too much fun with these lights. She just wishes Candy Cane Lane had real candy canes.
After a great night of looking at all the holiday lights, we are ready to head back to the hotel. And then I was filming all the lights from the balcony and then I saw this. I thought I was watching a ghost. Then I ran in and told Nate I just saw a ghost. And I might have been a little skeptical, but then this figure appeared. Of course he had to take all the fun of it and say it was probably just someone coming in off their boat from the holiday parade. I like to think I just actually saw the Dana Point Holiday Parade ghost. As long as it's a friendly ghost, I'll believe you. After a great night's sleep, we all woke up ready to go. Okay, maybe not as ready as these guys. But we did decide to go take a walk and start exploring the harbor some more. He must be unhappy his owners went to breakfast without him. Yeah, I think Lazy would feel the same way. Wow, there are so many kayakers here. And boats, thousands and thousands of boats. That just looks cold. We may be in Southern California, but it is still December. Yeah, it's making my feet cold just watching. Lacey was just admiring the views when Byron came along to say hello. Abby and Asher were locals. They told Lacey to go all the way around the marina for all the great views. Oh, and here's a statue of Richard Henry Dana Jr. They named this town after him. He journaled his voyage from Boston around Cape Horn all the way to California on the Pilgrim. And in his journal from 1840, he describes the area as the most romantic spot in California. Funny enough, Dana Point only became a town in 1971 and was officially incorporated in 1989. I guess before that, it was just romantically unincorporated. We did some bird watching. And the sun started to push the clouds away and we started to have a gorgeous morning. As we made our way back, we couldn't get over how many boats fit in this marina. There were so many. And I thought I read that there were two sides, an east and a west basin, and they both hold 2,500 vessels. 5,000 boats? No wonder the boat parade was so good. There's the crane they used to get the boats in the water. That's got to be scary on a windy day. And as we walked back over the bridge, we took in the views one last time. That was a lot of fun, but now it's time to get back on the road. Thanks, Thanks for, for going, going to Dana, Dana Point, Point with us. us.